Hello and welcome to Maths by SARS. This is my third lesson about the basic concepts of matrices that is equally important for PTB students of class 8, 9 science group and the students of D4 O levels and the students who are preparing the CI examination. Let's move to the concept. In this lesson, I will discuss the types of matrices. First of all, we have to understand when the matrix contains only one row, what is the name of that matrix? That is called the row matrix. A matrix is called the row matrix. If it has only one row, you can take the idea that in this example, 5, 8 and 9, they are forming the one row only. Then coming to the column matrix, a matrix is called the column matrix. If it has only one column, you can take the idea that 1 and 8, they are arranged in the vertical form. So they are making the column and it has only one column. Next is the rectangular matrix. We can get the idea of re word rectangle that rectangle is a four-sided shape in which length and breadth are not equal. So the rectangular matrix, a matrix A is called the rectangular matrix. If the number of rows of A are not equal to the number of columns of A, if we take the example of this matrix, it has three rows, 1 and 8, 2 and 7 and 3, 6, and it has two columns, 1, 2 and 3, 8, 7 and 6 is forming the second column. And in the next example, we can see that this matrix has two rows. First row has the elements 1, 5 and 8, and the second has the elements 2, 7 and 6, and it has three co columns. First column is 1 with 2, 5 with 7, 8 with 6, so the rectangular matrix is a matrix in which the number of rows and number of columns are not equal. Coming to the square matrix, you can get the idea from the four sided shape square that square is a shape in which all four sides are equal. So a matrix A is called the square matrix. If its number of rows is equal to the number of columns that the, uh, in the first example, you can see I've written single element. It has one row and one column coming to the second example that is 2, 3, 4 and 5. It has two rows and two columns. So the square matrix is a matrix in which the number of rows and number of columns are equal. Then coming to the next definition that is the null or zero matrix. Null or zero matrix is denoted or marked by the letter Z O in English and a matrix A is called the null or zero matrix if each of its entries is zero. It is represented by O and it's called the additive identity matrix. You can get the idea like single zero. This is one by one. Then this is zero, zero, one by two matrix. And this is two by two null matrix. Then the negative of a matrix, we can take the idea. Suppose we have a number two and if we want to get the negative of 2, what we will be doing, we have to multiply this 2 by minus sign. So the negative of the matrix for the matrix A, negative of the matrix is marked by minus A. And how to get that matrix is obtained by changing the sign of all entries of A. That is, let's take the example. If A matrix has entries 5 minus 6, 3 and 4, then minus A will be equal to what we have to do. We have to change the sign of every entry. 5 was positive. When it will be multiplied by minus sign, it will become minus 5. Then uh, the next is, this is minus 3, minus 3. And then we can see uh, that this 6 was positive. So it will become negative. Here we should not forget the role of integers as well. And 4 was positive here so 4 will become negative i hope you are clear about the negative matrix and then uh, next the concept is the transpose of matrix a matrix obtained by changing the rows into columns or the columns into rows is called the transpose of the matrix and we uh, can mark that transpose of the matrix by a raised to power of t we suppose we have a matrix 1 2 3 and 4 6 and 9 when I want to take the transpose of this matrix, what I will be doing, I will be shifting this row in form of the column 1, 2, 3, 
and this is the second row it has written in form of the column so the transpose of the matrix is the matrix which is obtained by changing the rows into columns i hope these all definitions are clear to you these are really important for ptb exam point of view and for o level as well please for the understanding of next lesson i hope you will be understanding these all concepts well for next difficulty level catch me in the next class watch my lesson like share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time thank you very much